Hey folks, Dave back here in another messy Studio B. Um, we had a good day cleaning up Studio A, and we're, we're kind of done. I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, we spent all my took today off, and we spent all morning getting it all squared away and cleaning it up and the whole bit. And I think we're done now. So hopefully, hopefully, if all goes well, um, I just got to wait for the flooring company to come in and look at it and give me a price and put down the floor and then I can put studio A back together any way I want uh, but the mess is cleaned up boy it was tiring though I get up this morning me and a buddy of mine we took took about three hours I think it was about three hours this morning you know ripping up the tile that's the thing is we had to rip up the tile because everything was un you know underneath the underneath everything and just ripped it all you know to pieces so um, the tile, most of the tile come up pretty good. Some of it was stuck pretty good, and we had to chisel away at it. <laughs> I was exhausted. We we went out to lunch, and I was like, man, I'm I'm dead. <laughs> That's really, I'm pretty tired here. But it's done. You know, now we're just waiting for that, uh, the flooring to get done. And we'll put it all together, and hopefully we'll have a, a brand new studio A, and I'll have to show some pictures once I get it going. But I don't want to dwell on all that too long, but I did want to give an update. Hopefully tomorrow, I keep fingers crossed now that everything is done, uh, and well, done as far as I can do. It's all it's out of my hands, and I'm hoping uh, Jucket and myself will be able to record a show tomorrow. And uh, I think he wants to do a mailbag type of thing, which would be good because I, I haven't played anything but this. I've been playing what's called the Basement Cleanup Game. <laughs> it's available on Steam right now, and it's not on sale. <laughs> so anyway, let's get down to the game, shall we? All righty, so... Here we are in Jacksonville. I don't think I've really ever had Jacksonville on the channel before. But we are in Jacksonville. It's Houston at Jacksonville. This is the 1996 season. And we are in week two of this season right now. And I like to play one game a week. Occasionally I'll play two but I like to play one game a week, and I try to incorporate early in the season a lot of teams that maybe uh, either didn't make the playoffs or on the bubble of the playoffs and maybe even have a really bad matchup and see how it goes. But to this one here is going to be Houston at Jacksonville. Del Greco will kick it off, and here we go. So Jacksonville will receive the opening kickoff at home. What's a short kickoff? The 11, Jordan, up over to 20, but good coverage there. And they take down Randy Jordan at the 28-yard line. And that's where Mark Brunel will come in to take it over here. So I'm going to keep both coaches on human, okay? And why I'm going to do that is, is I did like um, how it was quicker to do the plays if, if you had the defense run by the computer. As uh, Mike from the truck comes by. Thanks for coming by tonight. Um but w what I didn't like is that there was sometimes that when it came to penalties or timeouts, I would have done something different. So if I'm going to control both teams, then I really want to control both teams. So I'm going to leave that off and just play myself, you know, as coaching both teams. So, um, but that that's a new feature. I do like it. Uh, for myself, I'm going to try without it this game and see how it goes. Who knows? I might be right. I might be wrong. All right, so we're going to start with a counter right. We're going to go with a halfback Stewart here behind Brunel. And here we go. And we got a flag on the play. And false start right off the bat. There we go. All right, so now it's a first and 15. Let me make sure here. Oh, no, that didn't change. i got to save that. There we go. Okay. All right, so Jacksonville now is going to come and say, well, they want to go screen pass. Sure, we'll go screen pass. Sounds good to me. And then I just click whatever the defense offers. I don't even look at the defense. Brunel dumps this off. Stewart can't come up with it. And so it's going to send up a second and 15 right now. Strong right sweep. Um, Yeah, I don't want to go out of the shotgun, though. We're going to go um trips. How about that? And see if we can sneak at the running back in there behind him. And Stewart around the end, and he'll pick up a handful, maybe back to the little original line of scrimmage, sets up a third and 11. And uh, Mike says, click on display defense. Go to the studio. You can call up what you think your opponent's defense will see to see how you'll match up. I think I did see that. So, yeah, so click on defense. So my best guess would be a nickel 3-3. Three, three. So, yeah, something like that. I usually keep it off. Because I don't really, I like to look at my formation. That kind of confuses me. 
and I have no idea what the defense is going to call. So I could be very, very wrong. So I usually leave it off and just, just worry about the offense. But it is, it is there if you guys want to use that. All right, so Brunel now with a third and long, medium pass, trips, strong right. No, we got to go a um, – where's my formation here? There we go. Passing formation, twins. I guess strong right wouldn't matter. We want to go shotgun. Yeah, shotgun. And now we get the – yeah, okay, here we go. All right, so we got a third and 11 right now for the home team, the Jaguars, Brunel. I think it was a lefty, too. But now fires this over the middle. It's caught by Cardell. Cardell needs 11. He gets 12. And it's a first down. First down. Keenan McCardle. Is that McCardle? I think it was. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. 96. It was a long time ago. <laughs> um, oh, you can scout the other team's defense in their basic formation listed. Um, and just put that up. Okay. You can scout. Okay. Let me scout. Let me see. I don't know how to do that. Um, it's, I, I haven't done that before yet, so I'm, I'm going to leave that off for right now. So let's go a pitch left. I like that to Stewart, the pitch left. We're coming out of the strong left. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to go strong left on a pitch. Stewart around the end. Can they seal it off? They do. He'll pick up four or five, and that will set up a second and six. I'm going to go I formation. I formation. We're going to go inside run. Off tackle left. I want an eye formation. Just like this. There we go. All righty. So a second and six eye formation for the Jags. Brunel hands that off. Stewart. Oh, he'll be wrapped up after a gain of two, setting up a third and four. Matt Card. Matt Carnell. Okay, Matt Carnell. Okay, I'll get that right. I'll, eventually, I'll get it. All right. So now we have here. I think I'm going to go draw. I'm going to go with draw. Not from the shotgun. Passing formation. Twins. Draw. Here we go. Third and four. All right, third and four from the Jacksonville. 45. <laughs> Brunel goes back. A little delay to Stewart up the middle. Stewart is close to the first down. He gets four. They bring out the chains. First down. James Stewart on the draw. Stretches forward and gets the first down. We're going to go a balanced formation. We're going to go one back, two tight ends, and we want to go we want to go pitch left. Off tackle, outside run, pitch left. And I love how fast you can do this. I love picking my own plays. Well, the last time I did the project, I, I kind of went casual mode until the playoffs. I'm, I'm strictly advanced mode now, or expert mode now, because it is so fun. It really is. Stewart is hit in the backfield. A four-yard loss. Robert Young... Made the stop, Robert Young. He sounds like a um, like a somebody from like was on like Heart to Heart that show in the seventies, in the eighties. <laughs> does sounds like that guy. All right, so Stewart is tired right now, so we're gonna sub him in for uh, Lachey. No, yeah, Lachey Maston will come in. All right, so we got a second and fourteen right now. Brunel comes out of the shotgun. Oh, they're gonna go long pass. I like the call. Offensive coordinator going long pass. Brunel. Back to pass. He's in some trouble. Airs this out. Oh, that was a crazy pass. And that's incomplete. That sailed on Keenan McCardell. And so now that brings up a third and 14. So we're going to go medium pass this time. Um, we're going to come out of the medium pass. Here's my, oh, here's my formations. Passing formation. Empty backfield. And here we go. All right, let's see if that other guy's ready to come back in. Stewart's okay now. Okay. All right, so we got a third and 14. They converted the last time on third and long. Brunel fires this deep, and it's caught by McCardo. It's another first down to the 25. Inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Keenan McCardo on the catch. Oh, let's see this one again. So Brunel has come to twice on third and long on this opening drive. And McCardell goes inside the 25. And that's where they take over. So it's going to be a first and 10. I think I'm going to go sweep left with this and see if I can get my fullback to get some blocks here. Here we go. All righty. First and 10 now at the Houston 24. Brunel around the end to Stewart. And no, he can't go anywhere. The left side is not where to go. Okay, note to self. In fact, I'm going to write that down. Hang on. I don't like that down. Do not go to the left side anymore. Okay. 
I wrote that down. I really didn't, but I pretended I did. Strong right. No, we don't want to go with a draw, but we'll go, we will go middle run with a line plunge, and we're going to give it to the fullback. All righty, here we go. Second and 11 now, and we'll see if the fullback can get anything going up the middle. And mean still pick up a few three yards, setting up a third and eight. I think I'm going to go with a screen pass. Shotgun, two tight ends. Um, <laughs> can I give? Oh, Stuart, make him my primary. Yeah, let's send the back out. I always like flaring it out to the back. All righty, third and eight now. Another big third down here for the Jaguars. Two tight ends in. Brunel tries to screen to Stewart. Stewart gets it, and he's knocked out of bounds. He's shy of the first down. That'll set up a fourth and two on the 22, and that'll bring in Hollis, the field goal kicker, who has an 86% chance of making this one. It's clear skies here in Jacksonville. The ball on the left hash. Hollis strikes the ball, and this kick sails through the old-time goalpost. It is good. 33-yard attempt, and the Jaguars go up 3-0. That was a 6-minute, 46-yard drive to kick off the game. 13 plays. They ended up going 15 yards. And here we go now. It's going to be Jacksonville kicking off, leading 3-0 here. Jacksonville, incidentally, here in 1996, went to the AFC Championship game after beating the Broncos at home in a huge upset. I couldn't believe they won that game, actually. And that was good because we talked about this before. If New England had to go to Denver, they would have got smoked. Just my gut feeling. So they beat Jacksonville to go to the finals where they lost to Green Bay, which I think was a good game. Green Bay was definitely the better team. Oh, we get Eddie George in here. All right, so we don't want to go shotgun two tight ends. We want to go balance formation, one back. We'll go one back, two tight ends, and the other pitch left. Yeah, I like that. All right. All right, here comes Houston now. Chandler to George around the end, and he will pick up a handful of yards. Call it seven, and it's going to be second and three for the Oilers. Um, Sure, we'll go power eye left, and here we go. Chandler to George. He's going to be hit, and he's going to take a loss of a yard, setting up third and four, and Aaron Beasley is shaking up on the play. Um... I don't want Eddie George on this third and four. I'm going to bring in a fullback. I'm going to bring in Ronnie Harmon. Um, we're not going to do a draw, but we are going to do an inside run off tackle right. Okay. All right, setting up for the pass. See if the fullback can get us the first down. Harmon, no, they flush him out. They send him wide, and they push him out of bounds after a two-yard gain. And so the Oilers will go three and out. And Roby comes in the punt. Is that Reggie Roby? Reggie Roby. I didn't know he went to uh, Houston. I know he was with Miami for many years. He was a good kicker, too. Had some good crispy duck. And Roby with a big booming kick here. And Hudson has no choice but to call a fair catch on the 27. So here we go. And um, Jacksonville ball leading 3 nothing. I think it's Stewart in here. The, the, the left side has not been good. We'll try the right side. We will. All righty. Stewart goes around the end. He'll dance around and pick up three or four. Call it five. That gets the friendly spot. And it's second and five for the Jaguars. I don't like this jumbo package. Um, pro I. Pro I right. Yeah, we'll fake right and come back left. All right, Stewart's going to fake to the right and come back to the left. All right, Stewart, a little dance. Now comes back to the left, and that opened up a little bit. He'll gain a few. He'll gain three. Uh, Barrow on the tackle, set, setting up a third and two. Um, we're going to go inside run to the right. We're going to set up in a run formation. Power eye right. Here we go. We need two yards now. Brunel under center. Brunel. To Stewart, and he doesn't get there. He's met by Gary Walker, who walks him back for a one-yard loss. 
And now we're going to see Bob Barker come in to do some kicking. I don't know if it's Bob Barker or not, but B. Barker is good for me. And it's going to be fair caught by Gray at the 18. That's where Houston will take over, trailing by three. And Michael says he just bought this game yesterday. Are you having fun with this, Michael? Because this game is so much fun. It really is. I don't, I, I don't know why I don't play this more. The last year's version was the best. We're going to talk about this uh, on our next podcast about um, the different versions of pro strategy football and what, what, what ones I liked. Uh, I ended up playing a, a whole season out, you know, one, one week at a time, you know, one game per week, with, uh, right before the new, the new game come out. And I'm like, man, why didn't I play this more? This game was so fun. It really was. And uh, Mike in the truck says, we'll upload all compilation leagues soon, currently zipping up the file. Yes, Michael is working really hard on this stuff, uh, and they do such good work. It's it's not even funny how uh, how fun this game is. And it's, it's you know, the game itself plus the mods, it just makes it work. It really does. And it's so fun to play. And I was just talking to a friend of mine about that today. The, 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 my friend who came over to help me clean out my basement He's just asking, he's like, oh, he goes, I just bought Madden. And I says, I haven't bought Madden in years. He says, I can't play Madden. I, I don't have the coordination to play anymore. And he's like, yeah, he goes, I'm not really a sports guy, and I'm trying to figure out the game. This and that. I says, well, I'm playing a computer game that is so relaxing and is so fun. I was explaining to him this game, and he says, boy, that sounds like a lot of fun. I says, it is a lot of fun. Yeah, all right, so here we go. So, Oh, I like this call here. Counter right. Here we go. First and ten now. And here come the Oilers trailing by three. A little zigzag, and Harmon will slip through, and he dives forward for a four-yard gain. Don Davey on the stop. We don't want to go long pass. I'll go short pass, though. And we will set up in a pro set and go. Yeah, I like this. Okay. All righty, Chandler now. Under center, takes a snap, tries to dump this off, and it's over the head of Sanders. And that would have been finger-licking good if he had made that catch. So now we have a third and six. We're going to go short pass from the shotgun. Yes, I like this formation. Empty backfield. We're going to go for it here. And Chandler dumps us over the middle of the Floyd. Floyd needs six. The chains come out. And it's a first down. Malcolm Floyd gets the friendly spot. And the Oilers will continue the drive just by the nose of the ball. And Mike says the compilation will include NFL 100, top 100 teams of all time, Super Bowl era 32 team league, best team from each franchise in a Super Bowl era, and ESPN NFL dream season with the actual schedule. And he says, oh, Moon wasn't on the Oilers this season. He went to Minnesota. Just missed him, huh? And Michael says this game is fun, but he needs to find a sweet spot for sounds and game settings. Yep, you will. You'll tweak it, and you'll like it. Then you'll tweak it back, and you'll tweak it again, and you'll you'll find your groove. I tend to play um, faster speeds, larger guys. That's just what I like. I like it a little bit faster. Ron likes his um, nice slow replays. I like my fast replays. But there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. It's all about having a good time. Also, we want to do a trap here. Sure, we'll do a trap. All right, first and ten. We're still in the first quarter here. Harmon goes up the middle, dancing through, and he'll pick up seven or eight yards. Dana Hall comes in to make the tackle, and it's second and two. Now here's where we can go long. So we're going to go a long pass. We're going to set up in a balanced formation. One back, two tight ends. And, yeah, Sanders will be our guy. Here we go. All right, so we've got a second and two now. Chandler under center, man in motion. Chandler dropping back. He's in some trouble. He avoids the rush. Sends this deep down the field. Caught by Sanders. 29 yards to the Jacksonville 35. Whoa, we want to see this one again. Chandler had a man in his face as he was trying to buy some time. Look at his move right there. He escapes the rush. He launches this one deep. And Sanders somehow turns around. And comes up with a catch. That's a big gain of 29 yards. And the drive continues. Uh, let's go outside run. Sweep right. There we go. I like this one right here. Chandler, a little pitch to Harmon. And they're going to flush him out. out of oh, he was forced out of bounds. A two-yard loss. Setting up second and 12. We need to do something, something good here. How about a draw? All right. A draw. 
We don't want to go shotgun. Passing formation. Uh, twins. There we go. And I like to use the full offensive playbook myself, so I have every play available to me. Uh, more realistic would be to go to the team playbook right here, but I tend to use the, uh, the full playbook. All right, here we go. Second and 12. We need some yards here. A little delay to Harmon up the middle, and he'll pick up a few. Four yards, so it's a third and eight. Well, still 33% chance at a field goal, so we need a medium pass. Uh, yes, I like this setup right here. Okay. Here we go. All right, third and eight now for the Oilers. The snap to Chandler. Chandler fires over the middle, caught by Sanders, and he will score. Colonel Sanders, Chris Sanders, actually, 33 yards for the touchdown. Eight plays, 82 yards, and 344. And the Oilers, they take the lead 6-3. to three. You're going to see that one more time as I have my Gatorade. Oh, replay. Let's see that one more time. So Chandler just lobbing that over the middle. Sanders with a one-handed catch. And he goes in for the score. Um, and Adam Zero says, Ronnie Harmon would be a tough guy for the game to replicate. Or a game. He hardly ever carried the ball compared to receiving. Um, he was like a dedicated receiving back. Interesting. I didn't know that. So eight plays, 82 yards, and 312. And now the Del Greco will come in for the point. And Del Greco's kick is good. It's good. So the Oilers will sneak out a 7-3 lead here as we approach the end of the first quarter. So Del Greco gets a boot into it. And it'll be taken by Jordan, who brings it out to the 28-yard line, let's call it, 29. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do this. So we should have our ticker going. I didn't have my ticker on because I didn't follow any of the games. So here we go. First and 10. Yeah, sweep right sounds good. I like to do some running in this game. Means around the end. Little dipsy do. He'll pick up the first down out to the 43-yard line. It's a 14-yard gain. And that's a first down. Chris Dishman on the tackle. And... Ain't gonna really matter here because time's gonna tick away, but I definitely don't wanna give uh give them the ball. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, it's Houston seven, Jacksonville three. We finally have a good game here on the channel. Offense is pretty even. Time of possession goes to Jacksonville, because they had a couple of long drives. Uh no turnovers, just one penalty, and everything else is pretty close. Very enjoyable. All righty, so let's run one play here, then we'll go to the studio. Oh, short pass first and 10. I like it. And you can see the, the ticker down below here scrolling by with all the scores for those of you who are looking for the out-of-town scores. Brunel, quick pass. Cardell comes up with Mick Cardell, comes up with it for six yards, and it's going to be second and four. So now let's go to our studio here, our EF Hutton studio. And let's see what's going on the league here in week two in 1996. The Cardinals of Arizona leading the Dolphins 7 to nothing. Falcons over the Vikings 7 to nothing in Atlanta. Big game in the AFC East. Patriots lead the Bills 7 to nothing. Moderate rain in uh, Rich Stadium. The Cowboys lead the Giants 3 to nothing at Texas Stadium. Buccaneers and the Lions 7 7. I almost did that game. I almost did the Bucks and the Lions. And I almost did the Packers and the Eagles, two teams that I think went to the playoffs that year at Lambeau Field. 10 0 Packers after one. Raiders up over the Chiefs, 3 0 on the road. Panthers on the road lead the Saints, 7 3. Absolutely nothing to absolutely nothing at Giants Stadium as the Jets and the Colts play. Steelers up 7 0 on the Ravens. Bengals with a 14 0 lead as they start the second quarter in San Diego. Rams and the Niners, scoreless. Broncos, 10-0 over Seattle. I almost did that game, but I knew it was going to be a blowout, so I didn't. And the Redskins lead the Bears 
at RFK 7 to nothing. Al Red Sox fan stopping by. He just played a great 1958 championship game. I didn't get to see the end of that yet, but I heard it was a, pr a pretty good showing at the end of that game. I was kind of watching that while I was cleaning up down here in the basement. But uh, it was, it was I, I had that on for a while. I was listening for a while. All right, so now we got a second and four right now. Uh, I like to play action, pa action pass. Let's go with a medium. Here we go. Play action, yes. Play action pass. Yes, here we go. All right. So it's going to be Brunel. Play action pass. Fires this one over the middle. Caught by McCardell again. And he's on his horse inside the 30 down to the 26 of Houston. Oh, they just can't stop McCardell as Brunel found him cutting over the middle. And that's going to be another big game for the Jaguars. 25 yards and a first down. All righty. So we want to set up. A middle run, line plunge, run formation. Yeah, let's go wishbone. And we're going to give it to this guy. There we go. Uh, you know something? We're going to go um, outside run left. There we go. Get a couple of blockers. There we go. All right, three backs in the backfield for the Jaguars. Pitch to the left, means around the end. Nothing doing. We set a lot of blockers up for him, and he got absolutely nothing on that play. And it's going to be second and ten. So they want to go pitch right with the trips. Okay. That's what the coordinator calls for. Usually I, I like to call. Brunel, a little pitch to Stewart. And no, he is trapped in the backfield for a loss. So I'm doing a lot of sneezing here. There's a lot of dust in the air from all the cleanup that we've done today. <laughs> or I should say all week. All right, so now we get a third and 13 from the 29. We are going to go long pass. And, yes, we're going to look for Smith here in the corner of the end zone. That's the plan. Here we go. All righty. Four wide receivers in the game for Brunel on third and 13 from the Houston 29. He's going to try to lob it into the end zone. Here we go. Brunel back to pass. Floats this deep, and it's over the head of Smith inside the 10. And that'll set up a 4th and 13. And Hollis will come in 67% chance at making this field goal. It's going to be a ways out 46 yards. The kick is up. The kick sailing. And it just gets over the bar. And it's good from 46. So the Jaguars cut the lead to 7-6. to six. That, that was 7 plays and just 42 yards on that one. So Hollis will kick it away from the 30. And that'll come down in the end zone. Thomas is going to bring it out from five yards deep. Thomas won't even get back to the 20. He'll get to the 18, and he's going to hear it from the special teams coach on that one. All right, so we want to go passing formation. We're going to go shotgun two tight ends, and we are going to do a short pass. Alrighty, righty. Uh, the shotgun chain run first down. Quick out, and Wycheck makes the catch for three yards. That's as good as a run. Dana Hall on the tackle. Um, Sure. We'll go with a run with Harmon. There we go. And Harmon busts that through. He's normally a receiving back, but he's on his horse outside the 40. 22 yards. Ronnie Harmon. Let's see this one again. Holy cow. He starts on the right, and he comes all the way back to the left, and he finds a hole before he's dragged down at the 43-yard line of Houston. And, yeah, I love seeing the helmets and the logos, too. That's why I, I, I bump my um my guys up a little bit bigger so I can see everything. In fact, sometimes I go even bigger. So if I go to my menu, options and settings, sometimes... I make my so my player size is large. Sometimes I go huge. Sometimes it's a little too huge. <laughs> we'll see. So I got a first and ten. I don't want to go long pass here. I want to go inside run, counter left, and we're gonna give it to this guy. So these so ah oh, this ain't too bad actually. And Archie, oh he's hit after a gain of three. So these are the, the bigger players. And Chandler is down. Oh no. Steve McNair is coming off the bench as Chris Chandler is wrapping up his ribs. 
And the only time you like to hear wrapping of ribs is when it's the butcher. Aside from that, you don't want your ribs wrapped. And so McNair comes in on second and seven. Yeah, we're going to try a run. So these are the biggest players you can get in the game. And he's stacked at the line. No gain. I wonder because if they're so big right now that they can't run. <laughs> I doubt it. It's funny to say, though. All right, so McNair now out of the shotgun. We're going to go medium pass. On a third and eight for the Oilers. McNair. McNair looking. Fires this. Incomplete. So he's 0 for 1 today. And they're going to have to kick this one away. So with the quarterback injured, the Oilers can't get it done. Reggie Roby back to kick it away. Roby, former Dolphin kicker, or would-be Dolphin kicker. I forget which one. Oh, he's going to kick that out of bounds nicely. 42 yards. And they will take over at the 13. So Brunel brings out his boys. Yeah, I like this call. Brunel, a little dive up the middle to Means. Means gets three, second and seven. Try a screen pass. Um, we're going to go pro set. And let's give um, Stewart the ball. There we go. All right, out of the pro set. Brunel dumps this off for Stewart. He's hitting the backfield. He is wrapped up by Robert Young. Again, sounds like something out of a 70s drama series, like Heart to Heart or something like that. Or what was that Bruce Bruce Willis in the uh, show we talked about, Moonlighting? Sounds like something like that. <laughs> and uh, Al says he thinks Roby was with Miami first. I think you would be correct. All right, so we got a third and ten right now. But now we'll come out of the shotgun as he sets it up. He's going to fire to the left-hand side, and Ryzen comes up with it. He rises above everyone else. Andre Ryzen, 17 yards to the Jacksonville 30. And that's a first down. Brunel lobs this one over the middle. Ryzen with a whole bunch of Oilers around him. Slipped through for 17. Blaine Bishop slid diagonally to make that catch. Anybody pick up on that? <laughs> All right. Means is going to get the carry here. And off the means, ooh, maybe maybe a yard, maybe a yard and a half if he's lucky. They're going to call it second and eight from the Jacksonville 32. Um, I'm going to run a reverse to McCardell. That's what I'm going to do. All righty. Seven to six, our score. Brunel with a man in motion comes back to McCardell. Comes around the end. No. Didn't go anywhere. Two-yard gain. Henry Ford drove to make the tackle. Third and six. Uh, short pass, yeah. We're going to make Ryzen our primary receiver here. Robert Wagner was hot to hot. Random human, thank you so much. But I was close. Robert Young was Marcus Welby, MDs. I see, but I'm in the ballpark, though, right? I'm, I'm close, and that's all, I, that's all I ask to be, is I'm, as long as I'm on the green. I think I'm on the green with that. I did like heart to heart. I did. I thought Stephanie was was pretty hot as a kid. <laughs> and moonlighting, yes, moon, we had that. Did we have that chat? That three and a half hour chat. We talked all about the '70s show. <laughs> Here we are again. All right, so we got a third and six. We're gonna look for Andre Rise and Brunel all by himself in the shotgun. Brunel back to pass. Quick over the middle to Rise and he catches it. Stretches out and they give him the first down. Six yards. Tackled by Robert Young, Marcus Welby, M.D. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm going to give him the ball. Oh, they wanted, what is this, short pass? No, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Um, passing formation, twins. And Smith on a slant. And we'll give him the. The primary. All right. So first and 10 at the 40. Brunel fires it to Jackson on the right side. He went to the second man in the progression. Six yards for Willie Jack uh, Jackson. And Dishman does the dishes and makes the tackle. I like the off tackle right right here. I like to mix up my runs and my passes. 
Stewart with a carry, first down inside the 45 of Houston, down to the 42, Robert Young making the tackle. Sweep left with Means. No, I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in. Um, Mastin. We're going to give him the ball. So we're going to have two halfbacks in there. All right, Mastin coming around the end. And Mastin will get in a couple yards. Okay. Second and eight. All right, so we'll bring him out and bring the fullback back in. We're going to bring Randy Jordan. And we're going to give him the ball. Here we go. I'm going to try a little trap. Short yard is trap here on second and eight. And Randy Jordan up the middle. No. No gain. Third and eight. So they're going to go out of the shotgun. Two tight ends. Medium pass. And we're going to send him on a sideline pattern. And primary receiver. So we're going to see if we can get the back coming out on a little bit of a delay. Brunel fires incomplete. Stewart was there, and they'll have to kick this one away. So where are we now? We're on the Houston 40. Yeah, we really can't hit a field goal, can we? Uh, we're not even given the option for a field goal. So we're going to punt toward the sidelines, and Bob Barker will try to get this one away. Barker. Oh, a bad kick, and he shanked it. He might have got that 15 yards if he's lucky. Yeah, Brian Bar Barker, he went over the actual retail price and kicked it out of bounds after 15 yards, and it's going to be terrific field position. Let's watch this one again. Barker trying to angle to the sideline. Well, he, he got it to the sideline, as you can see, and it goes right out of bounds. So, uh, yeah, I like the little pitch here to the fullback, Harmon. I'm okay with that. Like, see, let's bring in... Um, Let's bring in Rodney Thomas. And let's see if he can get some yardage here for us. All righty. Pitch to Thomas around the end. And sometimes these guys come off the bench and do such a good job. 17 yards for Rodney Thomas. And that's a first down. And it's still McNair as your quarterback. So we don't want to be going off tackle left. Yeah, let's, let's do this. We don't want the backup throwing too much. And Thomas hits the line for a couple, and that's about it. My coordinator's telling me to go no huddle. Okay, to conserve time. No, we're not going to go no huddle. Um, but we're going to bring out, bring in Eddie George, and we're going to go a draw. Out of the shotgun, second and eight. All right, McNair. Going to try a little delay to George. And we're going to get to the two-minute warning. So we'll be able to think about this. And we'll take a look at our halftime stats in just a minute. Um, we could go pitch left. All right, we'll go pitch left. We'll see if we can string him out, see if we can get it to run. All right, man in motion behind McNair. Pitch to George around the end. And no, oh, just a few. That still leaves a third and five. And, okay, no, we're not going to go no huddle just yet. Third and five. We're going to make Wycheck the primary receiver. So we're going to go short pass on third and five. McNair will come out of the shotgun. McNair fires it. Caught by Wycheck, but he's going to be short. He needed five. He got two and was pushed back. So on fourth and three, they will have to kick it away. And... We want to call timeout. So this is the defense right now. And so the defensive options are call timeout. And there we go. All right. So now here comes the punt. We're going to go deep on this one. So Roby going to try to pin the Jaguars deep. 7-6 here is our score in 1996. And Hudson will get it up to the 20 and maybe the 21. Call to 22. And that's where the Jaguars will take over. Um, let's try a screen pass out of the balanced one back. Stewart will make the primary receiver. Here we go. Brunel trying to dump this off to Stewart. Stewart gets it, gets around the end. He's out to the 39-yard line. 
17 yards. And we're at the 39, and yeah, we're going to call a timeout here. So Jacksonville will use their first timeout, and they have the ball their own 39. Uh, we are going to go passing formation, twins, and we're going to try to draw. And we want to bring in, yeah, Stewart. He's our best guy. All right. So we can see if we can get sneak out maybe like an eight-yard gain or something like that. Why did they call timeout? Oh, okay, because, okay, never mind. I did call timeout. Brunel Stewart bouncing to the outside. He's hit after a few-yard gain. Second and six. At the Jacksonville 43, and we'll, we'll take one more timeout. All righty. So now we're going to go long pass on second and six. I'm going to keep you in the block. Okay, here we go. Second and six, Brunel looking deep on this one. He's in trouble, avoids the rush, fires it down to McCardell, who makes the catch. Oh, boy, now they're going to use their last time out. Um... Let's, let's spike the ball. Oh, I have no timeouts. Oh, I have, oh that's right. I called one on defense. Oh, boy. T total mismanagement here. So we're going to spike the ball. All righty. So we spike the ball. Oh, we're going to spike the ball. Flag on the play. Oh, boy. It's a false start. Oh, boy. What does that do now? All right, so the clock is stopped with 37 seconds left. It's a first and 15 now on the Houston 26. Shotgun, four receivers, medium pass. Sounds good. We need to get a little closer. We might have time to stop the clock and incomplete. So now we need to go long pass to make this happen. Second and 15, Brunel. Brunel looking. Brunel sends this deep, and it's over the head of Brown, and that's incomplete. So now we got third and 15, but, boy, this is cutting it kind of close here. They want to go field goal. I'm going to go a short pass to this guy, a quick out, this guy, a quick out, this guy, a slant out. Um, Smith's going to be our primary receiver. Y'all going to... Oh, boy. Can I block? No, nope, I can't get him to block. Um, but I need to get out of bounds. Try to get out of bounds. All righty. Here we go. Third and 15. Brunel fires it. Smith gets it. Inside the 10. Did he get out of bounds? No, he didn't. He's down to the six. Can we spike it? No huddle quick offense. I don't know if we can get the playoff. Time could expire. Um, I don't think we'll have time to get the field goal unit, so we're going to have to go medium pass just like it is. Can they get the playoff? They will. Brunel. In some trouble, and he goes down, and they will not get any points. <laughs> so, piss poor clock management at the end of the half by me. <laughs> I told the guy to get out of bounds. He's running. Yeah, I'm going to make it in the end zone. No, you didn't. You got tackled, and we had to go a quick pass. And that was, I suppose I could have spiked it to stop the clock, right? But I didn't know if I would have time. I said the clock might expire, so I, I wanted just to get the play off. Oh, too funny. This is what happens when you play late at night and you're tired. It's a good time. Uh, Jacksonville with 11 first downs. They have 179 passing yards. Oh, I just noticed this. Uh, yards per attempt. I didn't see that before. Yards per carry. Oh, I, I didn't see that before. Is that, like, new? Did they just update that? I don't remember seeing that. That might be new in the new version. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, let's see, total offense in favor of Jacksonville, but they trail 7-6. to six. Holy cow. 
I should I you know, I thought about that, but I, I didn't know if they'd have time to run the field goal unit out because there was only a handful of seconds. Um, so I thought about spiking it. But again, I didn't know if time would run out, so I thought the best thing to do was just get a pass off. I should have spiked it, but I didn't know if I'd even have time for that, so I figured if I could at least get a snap off, I'd have a chance. All right, Gray from the goal line. Gray up over to 20. Gray up near the 25. And that's when Mel Gray is stopped. And let's go to our E.F. Hutton Studios and see what's going on around the league here in Week 2. Cardinals crushing the Dolphins. That's good news for the Patriots. 17 to nothing at Sun Devil Stadium. Do they ever stay in one place at one time in Arizona? Seems like all their, their teams move around. It's unbelievable. Uh, Falcons, 14. Vikings, 14. At the Georgia Dome. Patriots continue to lead the Bills at Rich Stadium, 10-3. to Cowboys in a thriller over the Giants, 3-0 uh, at the half in Dallas. Lions over the Buccaneers, 13-7 to at the Silver Dome. Eagles and Packers knotted up at 13. That's a good game in Lambeau. Raiders lead the Chiefs 12-7. Saints 13-10 over the Panthers. Jets and the Colts in a nail-biter. 6-0 Jets right now. Steelers over the Ravens. Bengals over the Chargers. 49ers over the Rams. Broncos, oh, they're tightening things up here. The Seahawks are as they lead the Seahawks 13-7. And the Bears up by a touchdown at RFK over the Redskins. All right, so here we are. McNair is still our quarterback here as... Uh, Houston has the ball. Chandler is hurt in this game. And so, yeah, we'll start off with a run. Let's get a run going here. And a little juke and jive by Archie. He gets out to the left, and he'll get eight yards on the play. Second and two. Um, let's go medium pass. We're going to set up in a, yeah, I like this. I like the pro eye. Make it look like that. And Davis... We're going to send him on a fly pattern, a fade, and he's going to be our primary receiver. Okay. Showing run right now, the Oilers are. McNair under center, fakes the handoff, fires his deep down the side, complete. Had Davis, and he missed him. And Mickey Washington on the play. So we got a third and two right now. I like this call, a little trap run. There we go. Eddie George getting the ball. George pounds up the middle. No, that didn't develop at all. John Jerkovic stops George at the line. And Houston will have to kick this one away. Reggie Roby coming in. Gets a foot into it as David C. stops by here. Late night football going on. Hudson with a nice move, but he's tripped up at the 22. Good 48-yard kick by Roby. All right, so let's go with a sweep left. Sweep left, there we go. I like to try to have that lead blocker. Brunel, flag on the play. It's a false start. We're going to do this again, so it's going to be first and 15 right now. Uh, short pass to Brown. How about that? What can Brown do for you? Brunel from the shotgun, quickly over the middle. Brown can't come up with it. He would have been tackled immediately. Second down and 15. So we're going to go outside run on a reverse. We're going to set up in a passing formation with trips. There we go. There we go. On the shotgun, McCardell on a reverse. He's got all kinds of room. He makes a move. He gets the first down. Out to the 40, to the 45, out near midfield. What a reverse that was. What a what a gutsy call that was by the coach. <laughs> Let's see that one again. I love reverses. McCardell, there's nobody home. And he makes a move. Whoop, whoop. Another one here. One more. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And he makes the play all the way out to the Jaguars logo. 32 yards. On that reverse by McCardell. That was great. All righty. Uh, no, we don't want to go long pass right now. We want to keep something off tackle right. There we go. First and 10 now at midfield for the Jaguars. And Maston hits the line. Absolutely nothing. Falls forward for two. It's going to be second down. I don't want to go pitch right, do I? Um... 
Off tackle, right? That'd be better. All right, we're going to give it to Jordan. Let's see if Jordan get anything done. Jordan, no, he's hit. One yard, so we got a third and seven coming up now. Oh, now they're calling for another reverse. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, we can go outside run, though. We can go We can go left this time. Third and seven, passing formation, sure. We'll see if we can catch him napping. And Mastin, no, he's got absolutely nothing. They tried to see if they would be in a passing formation. They didn't bite, and we'll have to kick this one away. So Bob Barker comes in. His last kick was 15 yards. It was a beautiful 15 yards. And this one sails into the end zone for a touchback. So 48 yards by Brian Barker there, but not that good. So McNair is still our quarterback. We're going to go medium pass on this one. We're going to see if medium is a little bit easier, I think. So McNair... Looking, looking, fires this to the left side, and Eddie George, the running back, was there. Can't come up with it. And I don't know if McNair has completed a pass yet. Has he? So for Houston, uh, McNair is one for four. Okay. For those of you scoring at home. We're going to try a short pass out of the shotgun. McNair turns, fires this one, and that's incomplete. Oh, boy. Now what do you do? you got a quarterback that can't complete a pass, so you just go trap to Eddie George. Just what you do on third and ten. Ah, uh, the shotgun. He's going to hand this to George. George up the middle. Nothing doing. The Jaguar defense was waiting for him. And that's a fourth and eight. And when you can't complete a pass, you need to have a good punter. Roby. Oh, he just got that one away. Reggie Roby has this land. On the lap of Hudson inside the 40. He'll get to the 43, and that's where the Jaguars will take over. Uh, I want to go inside run. Let's go middle run. Line plunge. Sure. First and 10. Mastin up the middle will pick up a couple. Three yards. Henry Ford drives over to make the tackle. Second and seven. Oh, I like this short pass to... This guy here on a on a zoom. All right, let's see. We get, we're going to be expecting McCardell. We're going to try to go to Smith. That's on the left side too. Smith with the catch, first down. Terrific call by the offensive coordinator. And Jimmy Smith goes for eight yards, and that's a first down. Let's see that one one more time. That's a quick little zoom there to Smith, and he does the rest. He'll get eight yards. Oh, uh, sure, we'll try a run. Off tackle right. Mastin. And he's hogtied at the line of scrimmage by Darrell Lewis. Absolutely nothing on that play. We're going to go long pass. Shotgun for receivers. Yeah, I like this right here. Here we go. We're going to go for it here. Brunel. At midfield. Brunel's in trouble. He's going to run for his life, and he's going to lose four yards. Robert Young, straight out of the 70s, makes the tackle, and that sets up a third and extremely long. And they want to go sweep here. No, we need the pass. We really do need the pass. I like the thinking, but we're going to pass. All right, third and 14 for the Jaguars. Brunel in trouble. He's got to take off again. Brunel trying to do it with his legs, and he almost did. Brunel goes for 11 yards on the scrambled egg. Tackle at the 39. Now what do you do? They're on a field goal range. It's fourth and three on the Houston 39. Hmm. Fourth and three. Well, if you punt it and it goes in the end zone, it's a 19-yard kick. But I'd rather not give them the ball on the 40 either. So I will, I will punt toward the sidelines. All righty. Barker coming in. He'll kick from about midfield. Can he keep it in the field of play? Kind of, sort of, yeah. Out of bounds inside the five. That's a terrific kick, actually. What was I saying? At the three. So Barker coming in and getting it done. No, we're not going long pass. Not with McNair. We're going to go inside run, off tackle right. We need to get it up out of here. All righty. So Houston, in the shadow of their own goal post. Eddie George with a nice run. And it's uh, second and six. Uh, Random Human says the 24-point underdog Colorado State giving Coach Prime all he can handle. 
CSU is up by seven. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to watch any college football today. <laughs> I wanted to. I guess I spent th about three or four hours in my basement kind of cleaning up the mess and hauling the stuff out of here. That was the hard part, and I was just exhausted. I had lunch, and I was done. I was done for the day. Uh, no, we don't want a short pass. We want an outside run. Yeah, pitch left sounds good. All right, come on, Eddie George. Second and six. Pitch to George. He's got some room over there, but no, he ran into his own blocker. He'll pick up three. It's going to be third and three. Um, let's go outside run. Let's go to the right this time. See if we can get some blocks. There we go. Third and three. Keeping it on the ground. George. It's going to be up to him. Eddie George will pick up four yards, and that's a first down. For Houston, out to the 14. That's a big first down, actually. I don't like the jumbo package. Power eye left. There we go. All right, Houston keeping it on the ground. Remember, Chandler is hurt. Steve McNair is in the game. And Eddie George is slammed for a one-yard loss. Tom McManus on the play. Screen pass will let him throw. All right, McNair. George makes the move. George... Out to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. George inside Jaguar territory. 40 yards on a screen pass to the Jacksonville 47. And it's a first down. And Aaron Beasley is down. He got his bell rung. And it's offensive holding on Houston. It wipes out a 40-yard screen pass. Un. Believable. So Jacksonville will accept the penalty. And that, that was a terrific call. Comes back with the hanky. Second and 17. Draw play. We're going to set up in a balanced formation one back. There we go. Oh, man. That was the play. A little draw to George, and he gets nothing. Hit at the line. Flag on a play. Face mask on Jacksonville. So Houston will move it out to the 12. Incidental. And it'll be an automatic first down. So they get a fresh shutter downs. Um, balance formation. One back. They want to go short pass. Okay, we'll let them throw something short here. Flag on the play. There's three plays and three flags. So we got a 40-yard screen pass call back. We got a face mask, and now we have this. So, after all this, we're back on the seven yard line. Just saying. First and 15 for the Oilers. George hits the line, will pick up a few. Second and 11. Beasley back in the game. We're going to go medium pass. We're going to try a passing formation. And we're going to go twins. All right, medium pass now on second 11. McNair back, trying to complete his second pass of the game, and that's incomplete. And there's Salvador says, uh, defensive struggle going on here. Yes, it is. We have a blocked field goal in the Dallas game. That's interesting. Uh, third and 11. Well, we'll just, we'll just run it. George with a catch around the end, and he's forced out of bounds. Flag on the play. Oh, it's flag central. Defensive holding on Jacksonville. So Houston will accept, and it's a first down. Holy cow. <laughs> flea flicker? Why not? They call for the flea flicker. Why not? We're on the 16-yard line. Let's do it. All right. They hand off to George. Back to McNair. Firing this deep on the flea flicker. It's caught by Davis. Davis makes the catch. Hold it. Any flags? Any flags? Looking, looking. No flags. That's 30 yards on the flea flicker. And a first down. Oh, man. This has been the drive from hell. And McNair on a flea flicker completes the pass to Davis. Wow. And they're out to midfield. They're to the 46. Oh, man. What a, what a crazy game. All right, so we're going to go uh, power eye left. Yeah, we're going to try a run here. Can we get it up to midfield? George in the backfield, hit at the line. Absolutely nothing. Second and ten. 
Uh, we don't want an empty backfield. Go balance attack. Uh, one back, two tight ends. And we want to go uh, middle run, line plunge, and see if we get anything going up the middle. McNair to George. George up the middle. George getting it done. Eddie George. 12 yards. And that's a first down. All the way down to the Jacksonville. 42. So we want to go a uh, balanced formation. One back, two tight ends. We're going to take out George. And we're going to bring in Rodney Thomas. And he will carry this one. Eddie George getting it done for the Oilers right now. And Thomas, Thomas's can't promise anything. It's a one-yard loss. Um, medium pass. Ugh. Medium pass. Empty backfield. I don't like this at all. Balanced formation. Let's try the pistol. And um, what do they want to do? Outside run to the right. There we go. All right, we got a little crazy formation here. McNair. To Thomas around the end, and that crazy formation gets us one. <laughs> Third and ten right now. So Thomas will come out. Eddie George will come back in. We are going to try a draw play from a passing formation trips. Third and ten. Oh, time will expire in the third. So time expires here in the third quarter with the score. 7-6 Houston. Jacksonville has all the numbers. Some poor clock management at the end of the first half cost them some points because the guy didn't get out of bounds, and I didn't know if I had time to spike the ball. So what do we got here? So we're going to go middle run, third and ten, draw, twins. There we go. All righty, from the 42. McNair. George up the middle. George will pick up a bunch, but not enough. That's going to be a fourth and three now. Too far away for a field goal at the Jacksonville 35. So can we pin them deep? It's been a field position battle today. Houston started this one on their three-yard line, and they got it all the way to midfield, and Roby drops that in to about the six or seven-yard line. So each team will be starting deep in their own territory. We want to go middle run, line plunge. There we go. All right, Brunel. Jordan, maybe a yard or two up the middle. Second and eight. Let's go outside run, sweep right. Yeah, half back. Okay, here we go. Brunel. Going to the right this time. Maston around the end. Maston with a little dance and a little dipsy-do. He'll pick up five, and it's third and three. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to do a quarterback draw. Gary stops by. Thanks for coming by, Gary. Some late-night football here on the channel. We're going to try a quarterback draw on third and three. All right, Brunel from the shotgun. Brunel with a man in motion. Brunel tries to go up the middle. Brunel will get the first down and more. Almost to the 30-yard line. He's tackled at the 29. That's a 16-yard scamper on the quarterback keeper. One more time, folks. Holy cow. So Brunel just keeping it, using his legs. He was a good runner back in the day. First down. And it's going to be first down. Up to the, oh, the 29. I'll take it. Um, hmm, short pass here. How about Ryzen and a medium pass? What about this? So Brunel on the shotgun again. Will he run again? No, I don't think so. Brunel fires it for Ryzen. Ryzen with a catch. Ryzen for 12 yards to the 41, and that's a first down. Pitch left. Sounds good to me. We keep rolling here. The Jaguars on the move. Maston around the end for a couple. Call it three. Seven to six our score. We're here in the fourth quarter in Jacksonville, week two, 1996 season here with a brand new Pro Strategy Football 24. They're calling for a long pass in here. Oh, boy. Um, no, no. Outside run to the right. Balance formation. One back, two tight ends. There we go. 
Brunel to Mastin around the end. He'll pick up a few. He'll pick up three out of the seven. So it's a third and four. All right, I'm going to go, let's see, we want to go a passing formation. We want to go twins. Mastin is tired, so Stewart comes in. We don't want to counter right. We want a short pass. And here we go. All right, third and four up near midfield for Jacksonville. Brunel quickly to McCardell, and he makes the catch and goes out of bounds. Six yards. He has been the money man in this game. Oh, I don't like the jumbo package. Pro I will do. And middle run, line plunge. There we go. All right, 10.08 to play here in the fourth quarter. Jacksonville on a drive. Stewart up the middle. No gain. Second down. Let's go outside run. We're going to go to the right. From balance formation. Pro set. All right, coming to the right this time. Stewart around the end. Nothing again. The Houston defense and Anthony Cook stopping him for a one-yard loss. That's going to put him in a passing situation. So a medium pass, shotgun, two tight ends. Now we want to go trips. Here we go. And there we go. All right. Third and 11. Brunel back to pass. Fires this over the middle, and that's incomplete, and they will have to kick this away. McCard McCardell could not come up with this one. So with 843, they will kick it away. Bob Barker back again. Flag on a play. This one might be coming back. I think somebody jumped on the Jaguar. So this kick, ooh, where's that going to end up? Let's see. We've got a flag on a play. Legal procedure. So we do we want to decline it and take it on the 20? I think we do. Because if they kick it again from their own 47, I don't think we're going to get it out to the 20. So I'm going to decline the penalty and take it on the 20-yard line. And we're going to let Eddie George start doing some running for us. George, nothing doing. Nothing at all. It's a one-yard loss. Don Davy Jones on the tackle. Uh, let's go outside run. Pitch to the left from a run formation. Full house. Let's see what we can do here. A lot of beef in the back. George around the end. He's tackled from behind. Clyde Frog Simmons gets in there on the tackle for the Jaguars. I want to see that one again. Three backs, and nobody could make a block for Eddie George. That's too bad. So now we got a third and 13, and McNair is going to have to throw it. There we go. So the backup quarterback in for the Oilers right now. On third and 13, McNair airs this out. It's caught. Wilson, Shedrick Wilson for 14, and that's a first down. Oh, that's a great play. McNair getting into the groove right now. He had a tough start, but McNair finds his receiver, and they got it out with 14 yards, and that's a first down. Um, Off tackle right, run formation. We'll go uh, power eye right. There we go. I love all the formations in this game. Just enough to make it fun. Uh, George, nowhere to go. Eddie George is stopped by Eddie Robinson. And just take a look at the stats for Eddie George. Yeah, 16 tries to 39 yards. He's getting 2.4 on the carries. Oh, boy. So that's a 29 right now. We need to go outside run. Swip Pete to the right. And we're going to give the fullback the ball. So they're going to key on George, and it's going to be Archie with it. Archie around the end, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, the original line of scrimmage. That sets up a third and nine. So we do need to go medium pass. I like this formation. Here we go. McNair under center. Trips to the right. McNair back. Fires this one. Incomplete. Um, and they'll have to kick it away. Sounds like a Madden first down call. Old Madden, yeah. Do you know I was talking to a friend of mine today about um, uh, Joe, Joe Montana's fort, Sports Talk Football. You remember that one there on the Sega Genesis? The running back makes the catch. I used to like that game. 
I still have it. I might play it on the channel at some point. When I, once I get my new studio set up, um, I'm, I'm hoping I can kind of do some fun things like that. Hudson on the return out over to 35. And so now we're getting down in the crunch time here. We have 520 to play. It's a terrific 7-6 to six game. <laughs> yep, that's where we are. You take a look at our highlights of this game. So uh, th th we have three highlights. We have two field goals and a touchdown. That's all we can show you in this game. What I really would like, and, and one of the things I'm going to uh, bring up when we have Kerry and Mike on the show, hopefully um, hopefully coming up shortly, they said the end of the month, I'd like the option to uh, to save a play as a highlight. So if you had a pretty cool play, you know, whether it was a scoring play or not, that you could save it as a highlight and show it off later. I'd love to love to get that option in this game. So hopefully um, that's something. I don't know how hard that would be, but it'd be kind of cool if you could create your own highlight film. It really would. All righty, so we have a first and 10 on the 36, and Jacksonville's down by a point. All right, we'll start with a run. We still have time. There's no, there's no sense panicking here. And we're going to go to the right side. Stewart, nothing doing. Maybe a yard, second and nine. All right, so we need to go uh, short pass this time from the pro set play action. And we're going to have this guy be our intended target, the tight end. We haven't used him too much today. All right, Brunel fires this. Caught by Stewart. Stewart coming out of the backfield for six yards. It's a third and three. Oh, we don't want to go long pass here. Um, I will go pitch left, though. I will go pitch left. Okay. Like this. Okay. So here it is. Third and three. Stewart. Decides to go to the right side, and he's forced out of bounds. And it's going to be fourth and four, and they're going to have to kick it away. Not much other choice here. They're going to rely on the defense. So Barker comes in. Is the price right or not? We'll find out. That's a good kick. And it's going to be Gray taking it, and he'll get it out to the 13, and that's where Houston will take over. First and 10. Mike says, highlights are always saved. You just need to go to the given week and select it manually. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, let's just say I had um, a really good play. I would like to save that as my highlight. Because if I go to highlights right now, this is all I got. I got three. I got the, the, the two field goals and a touchdown. It'd be cool if it, it gave me the option to save a play. Anyone I choose has a highlight. So I could go back and show off a cool play, if, if you follow what I'm saying. All right, so we're going to go pitch to the right, and here we go. So we're, we're pinned deep. A couple of first downs, though, could really turn things around here in Houston's favor. George, Eddie George will pick up a bunch. Eight yards, it's a flag on a play. Personal foul on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And that's a first down out to the 36-yard line. Wow. 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 How about that, folks? Okay. So that move, that changes things. Um, okay, you know what I meant? That, that's the only way for now. Yeah, no, I'm just just, you know, just kind of spitballing some ideas here. Again, great game, but just every now and then I, I make a note about, like, boy, this would be great for that, you know, because um, you know, I love showing the highlights. I like the, uh, the TV production value of this, this game. All righty, so it's 7 to 6. Oilers with the ball. They have it first and 10 on their own 36 after that that personal foul. So we're going to go counter left, see if we can kind of punch this ball forward here. George up the middle, no gain. So great job by the defense. And sweep left out of the shotgun. I don't like that call. Uh, one back, two tight ends. And we can go sweep left with that. How about that? So second and 10. They're going to try to sweep to George around the end. Eddie George, ooh, he got seven yards of that. And that's going to set up as, uh-oh, guard Donnelly is down. And that's going to set up a third and three with 3.06 to play. So now if you're Houston, do you try to quick pass with the backup quarterback to get the first down? Or do you try to get it done on the ground? I think we're going to, we're going to go a run formation. We're going to go 
Pro I left. And this is just going to be a straight pitch to the left. Here we go. Third and three from the Houston 43. Big play in this game. McNair to George deep in the backfield. Eddie George will pick up the first down and more over the 50-yard line. Nine-yard gain by Eddie George. And that really gives Houston some breathing room. They were back around their 13-yard line when this drive started. They're chewing up the clock, and they get a fresh set of downs. And now Jacksonville has to start thinking about timeouts. And I think they will call the timeout right now. So we're going to go. Defense calls timeout right now. Yep, I like to call it before the two-minute warning. All right, so Jacksonville calls a timeout. And here we are. We take a look at the ticker at the bottom. Dallas in a whopping 9 nothing lead over the Giants. Green Bay, Philadelphia, that's a one-point game. Green Bay just missed the field goal, but they do continue to lead. Uh, Chicago up over Washington in the fourth quarter. Dave Craig was just intercepted on the play. Minnesota, Atlanta, another close one. A 44-yard kick by Scott Sisson. We all remember Scott Sisson calling out Red Sox fan. <laughs> he should be on the cover of Pro Strategy Football. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, Detroit up over Tampa Bay, although Tampa Bay got a one-yard run from Eric Rett to cut that to a one-point lead, uh, one scored game. New Orleans and Carolina, Jim Everett was intercepted, and we'll continue on. We'll take a look at the final scores in just a minute. All right, so here we are. It's now first and 10 on the Jacksonville 48. We're going to do a line plunge. And what we want to do is a running formation. Um, pro T. And we're going to give it to Archie. There we go. You don't know who's getting the ball here. Archie up the middle. Archie slips through. He's inside the 35. He's inside the 30. Inside the 25-yard line. A 24-yard gain by Mike Archie. Boy, they were keying on George. Let's watch this one again. Yeah, everyone thought it was going to George, and Archie gets the ball. One man to beat. He gets around him, but he's eventually tackled inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. And, um, yeah, we're going to call another timeout. So call a timeout on the defense. That's all we can do right now. So we get the clock stop before the two-minute warning. I always, I never could figure out why they let it run down. Call it, you know, then you get the two minutes. So now, you know, you don't lose too many too many seconds off the clock. Um, and, uh, and Salvador America says, it would be good if you could save up to four highlights a quarter. Uh, good game from what I've seen. It's well designed. Yes, it is. And he likes to ticker along the bottom. Yep. And uh, watch, there would be a big turnover to change things. Yeah, I'm trying to keep play it really low-key right now in this drive. Houston 7, Jacksonville 6. This drive has been 48 yards. I believe it started on the 13-yard line. They got helped with a 15-yard uh, face mask call. But they do have the ball now on the Jacksonville 24. A touchdown should win the game. Middle run, quarterback sneak. From a balanced formation, far. Here we go. So first and 10. McNair on a keeper up the middle for a couple of yards. Two yards. And that should bring us down to the two-minute warning. So we're going to go inside run, off tackle right. But that should bring us down to the two-minute warning. And here we are. So two minutes to play here in Jacksonville. All they could muster is six points, a couple of field goals. And here we are. So we got a second and eight. Jacksonville with one timeout left. So we're going to try to run it up the middle and take some time off the clock. Here we go. I formation. George will get the ball. He'll cut up the middle, and he will score. Eddie George right up the middle, 22 yards, and that's a touchdown. And that was 87 yards in just a couple of minutes. And let's see that one again. Power move up the middle, and Eddie George finally busts one open here. Look at that block right there. There goes George. Straight up the middle, 
And Houston now leads this one 13-6. Del Greco comes in for the point after. Del Greco's kick is up, and Del Greco's kick is good. So it's now 14-6. And Jacksonville now needs to score a touchdown. They have one timeout left. And they will need also a two-point conversion. All righty. So it's going to be up to Brunel now. Brooks with a short kickoff. They're going to get good field position. Oh, no. He's up over to the 40-yard line. Holy cow. 28-yard return by Bucky Brooks. And he gets it to the 39. So Brunel has some... Good field position. Only one timeout and a minute 47 to play. Still plenty of time. Okay, I like the medium pass. Here we go. All right, Brunel under center. Turns. Fires. McCardell has it. He's into Houston territory. All righty, so we might go no huddle. All righty. Uh, we're going to go short pass this time. And Smith, can he uh, quick out, try to get out of bounds? Here we go. All righty. First and 10 now on the Houston 46. Brunel out of the shotgun. Quick pass to McCardell, and he can't come up with it on the left side. Second and 10. I think we're going to try a screen pass. I think we're going to try a screen pass. To Stewart coming out of the backfield. Everyone thinks we're going deep here. All righty. 121 to play. Dumped off to Stewart. Stewart around the end. Oh, he's tackled. And it's a third and six. Oh, boy. Time is ticking here. Um, we need to get six yards. And um, here we go. We need six yards. We're going to try to get it out on the ground here. Stewart around the end. Stewart. We'll pick up the first down and more inside the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. And he's tackled inside the 5. 37 yards for Stewart. This game is not over. Holy cow. We were just trying to pick up the first down. We, we had two downs to get six yards. Look at this. And Stewart dancing down the sidelines is tackled. Oh, man. This game is so fun. At the five-yard line, 39 seconds to play. Short pass. Shotgun, two tight ends. I like it. There we go. At the five. Brunel turns, fires. McCardell catches it. He's short. He's at the one. 22 seconds to play. At the one, Brunel trying to sneak it. There's still one timeout left. Brunel. Up the middle, he will score. The quarterback sneak. They go 61 yards in six plays in a minute 25. But they need two points. It is 14 to 12. What is the call going to be? I don't think another QB snap. You got to go a pass here. It's Brunel. All right, passing formation. Empty backfield. Short pass. I'm going to send this guy over the middle. Here we go. It is unbelievable. It is 14 to 12. We have 15 seconds left on the clock. And Brunel needs to get two yards here on the two-point conversion. Lob into the corner. Well, I got McCardell going to the outs, and we'll see if that'll work. Um, we'll get this guy on a slant. And then this guy will go... Out. Here we go. All right. This is the best I can come up with. They need the two-point conversion. Here we go. This is the game. Brunel with a man in motion. Turns. Fires. Caught by McCardell. And that's two points. And the game is tied at 14. How cool is that? They go 61 yards in a minute. So each team goes 
Uh, 61 yards. Let's see that one again on the two-point conversion. So we're now quickly to his top receiver, McCardell. And this game is tied, folks. Holy cow. We're going to kick deep. We're going to kick deep. 14 to 14. And we're looking at overtime here in week two. Taken by Gray to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. Out over the 30-yard line. Mel Gray goes. And remember, McNair is the quarterback. And he's only got seven seconds to work with. So we're going to go medium pass, get out of bounds. And let's see what we can do here. Here we go. All right, McNair. Back to pass. Has time. Fires it. Incomplete. And they're on their own 33. I suppose I could try a Hail Mary. Why not, right? All right, we're just going to throw it up for grabs. McNair, back to pass. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Now throws this one deep. Has some receivers down there. Incomplete. And, and oh, there's still two seconds left. Oh, no, that's the end of regulation. So at the end of regulation, here's what we got. 14-14. What a game this has been. 392 yards of offense for Jacksonville. 236 yards passing for Brunel. This has been a fun one, folks. And again, Houston with their backup quarterback in as Chandler went down and hasn't returned. And you like that play for the second uh, the go, go for two play? Yeah, that's that's what's so fun about this game, folks, is you can design a play, and, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know how much, you know, my design of the play helped in that, but it makes me feel good, and, yeah, I feel good. Overtime rules are set to sudden death. The first team to score wins the game. All righty, Houston wins the toss. They will receive. All right, so we're in overtime, folks, and we're going to be up past our bedtimes tonight. Yes, Gary, we are. It's not often I get an overtime game. And that'll be taken away. Thomas, he's going to bring it out. Uh-oh, Thomas. Guinea doesn't even get back to the 15-yard line. Rodney Thomas, a bad decision. He is not Samuel Adams. All right, so Houston with the ball. If they score, they win. Uh, let's, go, um, let's go an outside run. Pitch to the right. All righty, so Houston with the ball. We are in overtime. First team to score wins. Eddie George pitches way in the backfield, and he will bring that up. Ooh, that's a good gain. He ran about 70 yards, but he got nine, and it's a second and one. Well, you know what I like to do on second and ones? You know what I like to do? I like to go deep. That's what I like to do. And we're going to make this guy my primary receiver. And, George, we need to you do the block. And let's see if we can get this done. All righty. Second and one right now. McNair back to pass. Is this one out? And that is incomplete. Why not take a shot, right? We're in overtime. So I got a third and one right now. And we're going to go middle run quarterback sneak. All right. We need a yard. Can they get the yard? McNair up the middle. Oh, he might have it. He, they measure. He gets the one yard. That's a first down. So Houston, whoo-hoo, that was close. They get the ball. So we'll go counter right this time. Eddie George, who I thought won the game for us back in the fourth quarter. Eddie George dancing again for eight or nine yards. That sets up another second and one. I'll try a screen pass. I'm going to set up a balanced... Uh, one back. And we're going to make him my primary receiver. All right, let's see if we get a little screen pass going, Eddie George. Dumps this off to George. Can he get the first down? No. No yards. It's a third and one again. Oh, boy. So what we want to do is we need to go run formation, jumbo package. No, we don't want to go jumbo package. Uh, Pro-I. Right up the middle. Here we go. All right, third and one from the 33. Flag on the play. It's a false start. And now it's a third and six. That's just great. All righty, so we got to go short pass here. Four ride receivers in. It's a third and six now. McNair 
Fires incomplete, and the false start just killed them. And that might be the difference in this game is a false start penalty. Roby comes in to kick it away. Roby's a good kicker, some good crispy duck. And Hudson has it. Hudson makes a move to the 40. And it's going to be great field position for the Jaguars. And you know what we're going to do here? We're going to set up in a balanced formation. We're going to go one back. We're going to go long pass and play action. That's what we're going to do. Here we go. From the 41. Next score wins the game. Brunel back to pass. Fires this one deep, and that's incomplete. Second down. Second and 10. I like the pitch to the left. Here we go. It's Mastin around the end. Ooh, one. Third and nine. Well, they want to try a screen pass, do they? Okay. We'll try the screen pass. Brunel. Flag on the play. It's a false start. Boy, let's let's check the flags in this game. Just all right, so we got seven for forty-five for Jacksonville and three for sixteen for Houston. <laughs> I think we went a whole half of football without a flag, and now now we got flag central. All right, so we got a third and fourteen. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this here. Short pass. Actually we need to go medium pass. All right, so medium pass here, third and 14 for Brunel from his own 37. No fires to the right side, and that sails on him, and they'll have to kick it away. Uh-oh, Robert Young is down. Oh, boy, we have to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him in uh, Marcus Welby, MD. So Jacksonville will kick it away here. Remember, we played 15-minute overtimes back in 1996. Oh, the punter got nailed on the play. Gray gets it out over the 20. Did they throw the flag? They did. The punter got nailed on the play. It's roughing the kicker, and Jacksonville will get the ball back. So they'll take it first and 10 on the Houston 48. Oh, they went for the block. Bob Barker was kicking this in a way. They went for the block, and boom. They hit him late. And... Jacksonville retains the ball, so flags killing the Oilers. He had the false start on third and one. They just had, well, they were on offense, and now they have that going on there. And you can see all the final scores rolling in because I'm in overtime. <laughs> oh, San Diego won in overtime. So it's going to give away my, uh, my final studio check with all the games, but that's okay. That's what we play for. We have fun. All righty, so. We don't want to go short pass. We're going to go uh, inside run, off tackle right. Yes, here we go. So it's a first and 10 on the 48. Brunel to Mastin. He'll pick up a few. They probably need about 10 more or so to get in field goal range. Uh-oh, and Dishman is down for Houston. They're going to miss him. Um, we're going to bring in Stewart for this one right here. All right, a little pitch to Stewart. Come on, Stewie. Come on, Stewie. Come on, Stewie. Oh, he'll pick up a few. So it's third and four. Well, right about now, it's probably two down territory. All righty. So, yeah, we're going to go line plunge and see if we can get at least two or three yards here. And Jordan up the middle. Oh, he's close. They will measure it. That's a first down, but it's a flag on the play. Holding on the Jaguars. So they're going to back them up into Jacksonville territory, setting up a third and 14. All righty, so we got a medium pass. We are going to look for Ryzen on this one here. Here we go. Third and 14. Brunel's seen these before today, and he's come through. Can he come through in overtime? Brunel fires this one. Incomplete. And the flags are killing us here in overtime, and they will have to punt this one away. So Bob Barker comes in. Last time he was leveled, nailed, picked up the flag. He seems okay. This time, kind of a short punt. Gray will get it to the 15. And here we are. Oh, Robert Young is good. He's back in the game. All righty. So what are we going to do? We're going to do a trap up the middle. Okay, here we go. McNair to George. Maybe two. They call it three, second and seven. 
And we're going to go outside run to the left. And we want to set up a uh, balanced formation like this. There we go. All righty. Second and seven now. George to the left side. George. Nothing doing. Maybe a yard. It's third and six. So we're going to go a short pass. That's all I trust him with is short passes from the 20. McNair out of the shotgun. Quick pass. Wilson gets it, but he gets back to the line of scrimmage. He maybe gets a yard, and that is that. And so they're going to have to kick this one away. Roby need another good punt out of him. Roby gets this one away. Oh, boy, it's coming down just inside the 40. Hudson will get this to midfield, and look at that. Jacksonville with another terrific chance to win this game. Um, okay, I like the long pass here. I do like the long pass. Brunel drops back, lobs this one deep, and it's caught by Jordan inside the 20. 26 yards to Randy Jordan, the fullback. Holy cow. Let's see this one again. Randy Jordan coming out of the backfield. No one is expecting him to go deep. And he makes the catch. And he takes off for 26 yards. And now we're in field goal range. So just a... What are you doing here? A couple of line plunges here. And it's going to be Stewart. And he's hogtied. No gain. Second and 10. Um... We don't need to burn the clock right now. Seven minutes left. What are you doing? Um, power I left. There we go. I'm going to give it to the first back. Jordan. Jordan, a little dance around the end. He'll pick up a few. For a four-yard gain, it's third and six. And it's 86% chance for a field goal. Here's what I'm going to do. Um... Quarterback sneak just to get a few more yards. All right, here we go. And we want to set up in like a um, a power. Yeah, here we go. Brunel keeps it himself, and he gets absolutely nothing. So it's going to be the fourth and six right now. And here comes the field goal try. Hollis trotting in to win it for the Jaguars. Here in overtime from 33. The kick, it's on its way, and it is good, and the Jaguars will come away with a 17-14 win. They go 30 yards in just five plays to get the win over Houston. And our player of the game, of course, is Keenan McCardo, and he's the wide receiver, and you can look at his stats right there. What a game that was. That was a lot of fun. We check our highlights in this game. You can see all of it came late in the game. Eddie George, 22-yard run, made it 14-6. to And you thought it was over at this point with only two minutes left. But the Jaguars, being persistent as they are, they go on a 61-yard drive capped off by a one-yard run by Brunel with just under 20 seconds left. And then they also... Picked up the two-point conversion on the play. But then in overtime, after a few punts by each team, Hollis coming in, and he will take care of this for the Jaguars. And they win 17-14. to Fun, fun time. So let's go back to our studio here and reveal some of the scores that you probably saw on the ticker. It was a 35-14 Arizona crushing Miami in this one. That's good news for the Patriots. And it's going to be Atlanta taking it on the chin for Minnesota, 31-21. New England went into Buffalo and then 29-23 in overtime. So what happened in overtime? Well, we're going to we're going to let you know. In that overtime, Drew Bledsoe, known for his runs out of the jumbo package, goes in to score. They didn't bother to kick the field goal, and Bledsoe wins it for the Patriots on the sneak. They win this 29-23, and they move to 2-0. and oh. Dallas taking on the lowly Giants, and it was 9 nothing game for the Cowboys. Detroit and Tampa at Pontiac, 27-13 Lions. Green Bay, Philadelphia, this was a good game, 20-19. Oh, we got to check out some of the highlights in this game. 
Packers with a one-point win. What happened in that fourth quarter? Oh, boy. Philadelphia had the ball and was driving down by a point, but Ty Detmer's pass was picked off by Kuntz, and that would end the threat. And Green Bay hangs on for the one-point win. Kansas City taking on Oakland at home, and it's going to be Oakland 29-7. New Orleans, they weren't very good hosts to Carolina. They beat them 16-13. Anything going on in that game late in the game? No, no, no points in that fourth quarter whatsoever. Uh, Carolina did have a chance to tie it up, but the 48-yard kick in the dome by John Casey would sail wide. And they would fall to New Orleans, 16-13. to Other games, Indianapolis and the Jets, 10-6. to Indianapolis, Baltimore goes into Pittsburgh, and they beat them 22-21. to That was a great game. Any highlights here in that fourth quarter we can see? Um, ooh, oh, Baltimore, here it was, 12 seconds left, 21-16, and Testaverde comes through to turn her on the catch, and that would give them the 22-21 win. San Diego and Cincinnati, that's going to go in overtime to San Diego. Let's see what happened over there. So in overtime, John Carney will come in, and he'll kick the Chargers all the way to an overtime win. So we've had a lot of overtime games here in week two, including my game. San Francisco hosting St. Louis, 17 to 10 San Fran. Seattle, how bad was it? Oh, 22 to 10 is not that bad to Denver. Chicago was leading Washington, but they would lose 24-21. And we take a look at the highlights. The Bears were up 14 to seven at the half, but Washington with 10 points in the fourth quarter, including this one right here with just eight seconds left. They needed the touchdown, and Gus Ferrat delivered with the pass into the corner to Westbrook, and that gave the Skins the win. And I think that's everything going on in week two. So let's take a look at our standings. Washington is 2-0 and after a couple of games, as is Green Bay and Minnesota. San Francisco 2-0 and as well. Remember when I did 19, what did I do? So was it 78 that I did? San Francisco was like 1 in 14. <laughs> now they're 2 0. New England and Indianapolis both are 2 0. Jacksonville 2 0, thanks to that overtime win. And just about everybody in the West is 2 0. Oakland, San Diego, and Denver, that is. Kansas City and Seattle have thus to win a game. And that is that. So, fun times here in 1996. Let me come back to my studio. Studio B, that is. And that is that. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was a fun one. Uh, great, great. I like I say, on that run, they put them up by eight. I thought the game was over, but Jacksonville found a way to come back. A little bit of luck, a little bit of fun. And then that two-point conversion, which was super, super fun. So I tried to plan something out. I don't know if, if I helped at all, but sometimes if you cross up the receivers, it just feels like you did something. I felt I did something. I had fun with it. And that's all that matters. And after the week that I had, I needed a game like this. After the week that I had with, with everything going on, <laughs> everything over here has been flooded, and I ripped up my floor. Not only did I rip up the floor, I had to rip up the tile that was underneath the floor. So that was today's job, and I'm pretty tired from all that. So I got to have some fun tonight. I got to watch Al play some. I got to watch Dave Little play some wrestling. I got to watch Al play some pro strategy football championship game, and I got to... uh play a little bit myself here late at night. So now I'm going to go crash. Hopefully we're going to record a podcast tomorrow if all goes well. And um, that will be that. So, hey, I'm Dave from Studio B. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And um, I have blisters all over my hands from digging up that tile today. <laughs> I'm going to be sore tomorrow. I'm going to have to put them on ice. <laughs> That's just what you do when you're old. I'm Dave from Studio B. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Have a great night.